Hi there, I'm Jackie and I love sea glass. So today I'm going to talk to you a bit about how you can learn to create some art with your sea glass because I create a lot of art with my sea glass. I'm going to show you a bunch of my art. I'm here where I've got a bunch of it on display and I will talk to you a little bit about the resources that I've created to help teach people how to create art with their sea glass. So I'm doing this video for the Mermaid's Tears Virtual Sea Glass Festival, which is taking place on July 24th, 2021, which is coming up. So I'm going to put a link to that Virtual Sea Glass Festival in this video so that you can go to it and watch all the great content. They have an amazing lineup planned. You don't want to miss it. So if you've ever been lucky enough to attend this Sea Glass Festival in person, it takes place in Surrey, Prince Edward Island, the third weekend of July every year. But not this year, that we're in the middle of a pandemic. So this year it's taking place online. You don't have to travel to go there. Travel from your kitchen to your office or your living room, wherever you have your computer, and you can attend and see all the events. So virtual, not as good as in person, but better than last year, 2020, it didn't happen at all. So I'm really glad it's happening this year. Prince Edward Island is an absolutely magical place if you ever get a chance to go. This sea glass mosaic that's hanging on the wall behind me here is my depiction of going across the ferry to get from the mainland to Prince Edward Island. And I just love this one. So I'm coming to you from Colebrook, Nova Scotia, where I have a number of my sea glass mosaic art pieces on display. So if you ever find yourself in Nova Scotia and you're thinking, I'd like to see some of that sea glass mosaic art in person, I'll post the address for this place in this video and you can feel free to come and browse and take a look at all my sea glass mosaic art. And you may even find me here by appointment or by chance in case you're thinking, hmm, I'd like to meet this crazy person that spends hours and hours creating sea glass mosaic art. So. If you can't make it, I am going to show you a slideshow of a whole bunch of my pieces that I have here at the end of this video. So stay tuned. My purpose for showing you all this art is to inspire you and to give you some ideas on what you can do with your sea glass. You may love your sea glass sitting in a bowl on your table, but if you want to create some art with it, you can do it. It is so much fun. So I've been on a bit of a mission to teach people what I know about creating art with my sea glass. So the first thing I did, I wrote a book and it's called Windows to the Past, Creating Sea Glass Mosaic Art. And if you're interested in my book, it is on show special on my website, JackieTrimperSeaGlass.com. You can go there and check it out. The other thing that I've done is I've become a YouTube creator and I've created a number of YouTube videos about my art and about sea glass and about different things that you can do with your sea glass. And I post a new video every Tuesday. So the best way to navigate my website is through the playlists and that way you should be able to find exactly what you're looking for. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information on how to navigate my website in the hopes that you will find what it is that you're interested in finding about my sea glass mosaic art and my other sea glass art. So if you're wanting to learn how to create art with your sea glass, the most important playlist for you will be my techniques and how to videos playlist. And in there I have quite a few videos and they're answering tons of questions. Everything from what to use for glue, my most frequently asked question by far, I've got a couple of different videos just on glue to how to clean your sea glass, how to hang your finished pieces, all sorts of how-to videos there, how to prepare your frames. There's tons of different videos in there. If you're getting involved in creating sea glass mosaic art and you come across something and you're thinking, how did, like, how does Jackie do that? And you've got a question, 
send me your question, just post it in the comments. And if it's something that I haven't addressed in the video, I'll probably make a video about it. This is where I get the topics for a number of my techniques and how-to videos. I so I've also created a playlist of videos that I consider to be inspirational, things to give you some inspiration and some design ideas and how to find what you need to have in your head for inspiration and design to get started on creating some art with your sea glass. You can just go to that playlist and see what's there. So the majority of my inspiration for my art comes from the beach. So I've also included a playlist of videos where I take you along with me to the beach and I'll show you some of my sea glass finds, some of my beach views. Uh, hopefully you find that really inspiring for you as well for your art. Sometimes it's nice just to have a little escape, especially in the middle of the winter when you can't get to the beach. So I hope you really enjoy those videos as well. So I have a playlist of videos that show small projects. This project is only eight inches by 10 inches, so fairly small. So if you're wanting to start small, it may be a good place to start. Maybe you'll find something in there that you think, oh, I think I'll do this one. And then there are my large sea glass mosaics. I do quite a few sea glass mosaics on antique vintage windows. And here's an example of one of my bigger ones. This one is 31.5 inches wide and 24 inches tall. So quite a large piece. So I've got a whole playlist that shows you some of my larger projects. So I'm also a bit of a fan of working in a series. Here you can see a couple of my Heron videos. I've done quite an extensive Heron series. So I also have a playlist of videos where I talk to you about the benefits of working in a series. And then I'll show you a whole bunch of pieces of art that go along the topic of a particular series. And I also have a playlist about all my sailboat mosaics. I love sailboats and I love depicting sailboats with my sea glass mosaic art. And of course you can't do beach art without doing lighthouses. So I do have a number of videos showing you how I've created some of my sea glass mosaics that depict lighthouses. I love lighthouses and see, using sea glass to create lighthouses is spectacular. So although the majority of my art is sea glass mosaic art, I'm a huge fan of mixed media and I just love fabric. So I have made quite a few fabric art pieces that also involve my sea glass art. So I combine my love of fabric with my love of sea glass and I make all these small art pieces. I just love them. So actually some of my fabric art pieces with sea glass are quite large. Just really enjoy that. So I've made a number of videos to show you how you can do some of those projects as well. And along the theme of mixed media, I also will sometimes make some paper cards and embellish them with sea glass, or in this case, fabric and sea glass. And so I hope you enjoy those videos. And if you aren't a fabric artist, maybe it will inspire you to try your hand at a bit of fabric art that's combined with sea glass art. So my love of mixed media continues. I've started doing acrylic paint pouring and then embellishing those acrylic paint pours with sea glass. So I've created a playlist for some of those videos as well. So if you're interested at all, check those ones out. Those are a little bit different again, but it's still creating art with your sea glass. I hope you find it really inspirational. I'm quite excited about this. So there will probably be more videos to come on this process. So probably my favorite but least watched playlist is the ASMR videos. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is basically that feeling of calm that you get whenever you've been exposed to like a really soothing, calming noise and sight. And it's kind of like white noise. I get that response when I'm at the beach. And so often I can go for these long periods of time when I can't get to the beach. So what I do is I take videos when I'm at the beach and then when I just feel like a little break or just feel like checking out and relaxing for a few minutes, I'll put on one of those videos and watch them. 
So I've shared those videos with you as a way to give you a chance to relax and expose yourself to some beach time take some beach breaks. So you can check out those videos. I hope you love them as much as I do. I've done them for myself and now I share them with you. So thank you so much for joining me for this video and for the Mermaid's Tears Virtual Sea Glass Festival. I hope you found this video interesting and I hope it's provided you with some inspiration and some information on how to go about learning to create some sea glass mosaic art. And if you already do sea glass mosaic art, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing a bunch of my work. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a playlist of a number of my sea glass mosaics and my sea glass art. And in the meantime, I really hope you get to the beach. And if you do, happy sea glass hunting.